My name is John Ball. I'm an application engineer for Xair. Today I'm going to show you how to install the dual cabinet cooler hardware kit, model 4908. For panels with high heat loads, sometimes we need two cabinet coolers to keep the electronics cool. This kit will connect both of them so that you would only need one compressed air inlet to feed both cabinet coolers. We want to check the style of the cabinet cooler. We have two types. One that has a quarter inch female port, and this is our NEMA 4. And NEMA 4X. And we have another that has a quarter inch MBT male thread. This is our NEMA 12. If it has a female port, then we will not use the quarter inch MBT coupling. If we have the male thread, then we will not need to use the quarter inch MBT nipple. I already removed the hardware and taped the fittings. We will start by attaching the half inch to one quarter inch MPT bushing to the T. Connect this assembly to one of the cabinet coolers. Make sure that when you finish tightening the T that it is perpendicular to the cabinet cooler. Attach the second half inch to one quarter inch MPT bushing to the T keeping in mind which port is required for your compressed air connection. Then attach the 18 inch hose to that second bushing that was installed in the T. As you are assembling this hardware kit you can tighten the connections as you proceed along. We include the instruction manual with the kit and it also has some tips and tricks that can help. Finally, you can connect your second cabinet cooler to complete the subassembly. The dual cabinet coolers with the hardware kit is now ready to be installed into your panel. In the next step, I will demonstrate this. Well, now that we have them assembled, uh, now we're going to stick it into the panel. Um, for demonstration purposes we kind of have uh, this in the front um, to just to make it easy to show you. Uh, but one thing you want to make sure is to check to verify that your compressed air inlet where it would be coming in here is going to be uh, where you can work with it. So in this instance here what we're going to do is remove the panel nuts. From both cabinet coolers and as you can see the holes are already uh, drilled uh, or punched out and they're like I say between four and eight inches apart. We'll drop in our cabinet coolers here and install the panel nuts. We brought along a, uh, a flathead screwdriver uh, just to tighten up the um, panel nuts once they are installed uh, just to get it tight uh, up against the panel. If you have any questions or need any more details uh, you can contact us at 1-800-903-9247. Thank you for watching.